construction tickets for the district money have actually gone all the way to number 15 by mail to the positive figure, no transaction. And now when it says no and no transaction, it adds some color. So I'm going to use the magic wand and just make it look good and it's real. If I have time, I'm going to use the smudge tool and some filter to add some design and some detail to it. Notice I have some simple shapes, some big shapes, some small shapes. I for that variety and that diversity in each type of design to make it symmetrical. So let's get started. What I can do is in Photoshop, take the paper and find the color that I want. So if I recopy it, and just go, oh, oh, what happened? Oh, I'm on the side without any color there. Let me flatten the layers for this part. Big mistake if you don't. Here we go. Oh, it went over too far. What to do? What to do next? I'm just doing Command Z to undo it again. So let's try taking the line from the tool. And so I can make a design real quick. I'm trying to make it look like that. Oh, well, that was so much better. And I could go through and put in different colors here. I can change the design. I can change colors a little bit. That gives you an idea. I can also take the magic wand, and I can go do the little smudge again. So I can come up here and do some little detail. So I can rest this command Z. Rest it like that. Now you know I've got lots of colors. I have four different color targets. You can see the gradient of tool. Here's my current gradient. I think that's a little bit too wild for what I want to put. It's just a small space, smaller space, smaller colors. Let me pick a two one that saves me some time. I'm going to double click here on the house. Choose the color I want. Save as A. Click on the house. Choose the color that I want. I can make this color look beautiful for me. So I take that tool and I drag it across and I fill the room with color. So don't forget you can change the type. What if I want a dot? Click the grid. I'm going to work with the grid for this just to, to show you how. I want to change the color for this area or add a color in the middle. I just click underneath that bar, come down here and choose the color I want, and say OK. Now that is the gradient I want. And remember, if I don't select, it's going to fill up the whole picture. So let me select this area here. Oop, I'm out of the line. I'm just following the whole thing. Pick up my gradient tool again and stretch out my area. Look at how it's looking beautiful. You can start filling it in either paint bucket or the gradient tool. You can change the color for your different presets here. That's up to you. And the really fun thing I like to do is play around with the smudge tool. The smudge tool, using the bracket keys next to where they launch the brush, allows me to smear in the gray. So I can actually, if I make it small enough, I can reshape this and pull it out and have some fun with changing the quality of my paint part. So formative, playing around with presets and motion with them. Let me add a couple of grids here or clay on them. Oh, I can change the screen preview too. So I have an option of that. So then I'm smearing much faster. Remember, I'm only doing half because I'm going to copy and paste over to the other side. Scrolling, I want to see how that looks like. So copy, duplex size, copy, paste, and reverse. I'll just do reverse so you see the opposite color. Okay, so I can do copy, paste. I'm running out of time. Cool. Move it over in here, and I can flip. Don't forget to flip. Gotta have that old face. Bye bye.